joined by soon to be senior Bella Fiorenzo and she just finished up her final spring season with Ole Miss. How surreal does that sound to you? It's pretty amazing. I remember being here my freshman year and being told that these four years were going to fly by and just thinking that I'm about to go into my senior season seems really crazy and a little bit unbelievable but I'm just looking forward to it and hoping that it's going to be my best year yet and just really excited because I think we have a great team coming together. Well you by all accounts had a very impressive spring taking on some tough teams. Give us your assessment of how the spring went for the team. It was awesome. There was a bunch of individual growth and also a lot of team growth and I think that's what showed the most and the coaches brought it up a lot. They were saying that they would tell us you know these critiques or things to work on and we would take it and work on it and then you could see it in the games that it was really showing and I think there are a lot of times where we would play and we would look back at film and we could point out these things that we had worked on in practice and we were seeing it come together in the games and that was really cool because it just shows that that hard work is paying off um, and everybody is very receptive and just kept getting better and better. What do you see as the potential of this team? I just think that with this spring we finally clicked like it was this kind of easy like just connection that we formed and when we were on the field we just knew each other's movements we knew what we were going to do we knew where to pass like where to look for the ball and it was very like cohesive and um, I think it just worked really well and I think that when we bring in the new freshmen they're just going to fall into place and they're going to see our standards and we're just going to hit the ground running honestly. You were voted as a team captain first of all what does that mean to you and what do you think you, yeah. you bring to the team as a leader? It's obviously a big honor um, to be given like that trust and to know that the coaches and my teammates um, look up to me as a role model was really humbling, honestly. Um, I think that I kind of have a unique perspective because I started off here and I was fighting some injuries. I came back from knee surgery and I didn't have like the easiest path. I wasn't always a starter in my first couple years. I had a lot of ups and downs and I think that that gives me like a level of relatability to my teammates because I've been in all these different situations. So at the end of the day, I just want to be a big role model for them. I want to push them to be the best versions of themselves. And I think if I can do that, then I know that I'm doing my job correctly. So we talked about a lot of the excitement on the field, but you're getting to move into your back into your home at Gillum. You know, how excited <laughs> are you and the team for that? I'm so excited, especially for the team room. I hear that we're getting a ping pong table, so there's going to be a lot of tournaments going on and everything, but it's going to be awesome. I mean, to finish my senior year and this new home and I mean state of the art um, equipment and just like the video room and everything is really going to be very cool so I'm looking forward to it and I think it's going to be a perfect ending to my career. <laughs> who do you think the, who, uh, think the best ping pong player is on the team? Well there's a little competition going on between Matt and Liza so you better watch out. I think I think Liza could have the upper hand. <laughs> I trusted her abilities. Well it was great talking to you. Best of luck this fall. Thank you. <laughs>